My name is Frank Booth and I'm at the University of Missouri in Columbia. I'm actually involved in two lines of research now. One is to try to understand in the brain why animals are motivated to not to be physically active. So the idea being if we can figure that out then we can get therapies to get people to be physically active. The second type of research I'm doing is is what happens when an active animal becomes inactive just by decreasing step number. What are the initial steps that are occurring in the muscle that lead to disease, like diabetes and so forth? I've, I've been doing research for about 40 years, and 20 of that was with NASA on ground-based research for space flight, and then the other 30 have been a mixture of how does the exercise uh, cause genes to change and how does inactivity cause genes to change and so forth. I, I think it, it does. It makes people more aware of what's going on. In fact, the talk I'm going to give tonight is going to be trying to show the importance of, of relating a, elite athletes to uh, uh, health and uh, how they, sh if they don't overtrain or they don't injure themselves, how they are a good model of health to understand the rest of the human population. I think the uh, media wants to print what they want to print and so for example, obesity isn't a total problem with not exercising. They, you know, there's a lot of other issues. There are actually 34 Unhealthy, con unhealthy conditions that occur if you aren't physically active. So there's a lot more there and I do communicate to the scientific community but I don't think they are responsive either. So you can't blame the media, you can't blame you know, one particular in, in, you know, in, a part of the population for the, uh, you know, the, the stuff that I'm preaching. Performance-wise, I think it's, it's the uh, events that cause all the limbs to be active, like cross-country skiing. Or, uh, that's a classical event where you have your highest aerobic capacity in order to be it. Uh, I think for the general public, it's just to do any sport to be active. It doesn't matter what you choose or how you do it. You just have to start to move. One that I'm really interested in is his motivation because in the United States, uh, 97 out of 100 people are not physically active. In fact, in the 6 to 11 age range, 50% uh, of the kids are not meeting the, the national guidelines for physical activity. And so what I'm working on is try to figure out why they don't want to biologically. Yes, you can say that there are other factors that are social but what is occurring in the brain that wants people just to sit around. And if we can figure that out, then we might be able to prevent some of the problems from just sitting around. Well, I'm, if I was an Olympian, number one, I'm not going to be an Olympian because I'm in the bottom half. And that's one of the things that drive me, but uh, I run everywhere uh, during the day, and uh, I now have my maximal oxygen consumption for my age range in the top 5%, but when I was young, it was in the bottom 50%, and so what I've done is, is I've been physically active my whole lifespan. Instead of driving to work, I always run to work or bike to work, and so I've aged to be an Olympic old athlete, but when I was young, I was cut from sports teams because I was no good. Instead of uh, working out every day, I use exercise to get around town. And so people will see me running and I have what I call the Pony Express. That means if I have a lot of errands to run, I'll save time by running to one Point a, from point A to point B to point C and then back to point A. I run to work and I save gas money, I save, but I do, that's, 
I haven't aged as much in certain uh, processes that age because of not exercising. And so there's certain things that occur to your body that decrease your physical performance that occur because you're not using your body. So since I'm moving and using my body, there are parts of my body that have not aged as fast as the people that are couch potatoes. Well, it depends on what event you're talking about. If you're doing an endurance or aerobic event, it's going to be fuel and overheating your body. If it's muscle strength, then it's going to be, you know, the size of your muscles. And that, that in large department, is, both of those are in large department, determined by how you selected your parents. Because your parents give you about 50% of your athletic ability, and the remaining percent of your athletic ability comes from you just using your body. So if your parents gave you great looks and, you know, great brains, but they didn't give you the athletic genes, then you are not going to be an Olympic athlete, but you can still, you know, be active and uh, work your way up to the top 5% as I've done.